Hello, YouTube. I'm not in the shop today, but I wanted to ask you guys a couple questions about an old barn we had. So here is a, an old barn. We think it was built about the 1850s, and we're, we have a few problems with it. And the first one is that the middle of the roof is sagging real bad. Uh, you can kind of see that the middle's starting to sag a little bit. Uh, it, this barn is not as is not as well built as some of our other ones. This one's got uh, a slight sag in the roof. It's got a slight sag this way, but it's also got a slight sag that way. And I want to fix both. It looks a lot worse in person than it does on the camera, but you can kind of see how this this right side up here uh, is a lot higher than the rest of it. The rest of the barn is not in uh, that bad of shape. There are a couple of beams that have severed off and that need to get fixed. Let's uh, head around and head on inside. This is probably the best side. Pantry lines. You know, it's got an old barn. It's been around for some time. My grandfather did some work on this. Uh, he added this concrete base here. And some uh, idiot stole the gutter off the back here. We head on inside. This is this is the inside of the barn, and like most barns, it's got the all the cracks. The whole barn's made out of white oak. And there's some beautiful lumber in here. Look at this beam. So, one of the major problems with this barn is that beam right in the middle there that has severed off and I don't know if the tenon failed if the pin failed or what happened there this one is severed off and you can see this one's been patched uh, in the past and that one's completely gone and this one these two have also been patched uh, the only one that's still good on the front wall is this one, and it, it doesn't have any problems. Hopefully there aren't any holes in the floors up here. Got to be careful where, where I walk. Uh, but that one looks fine. Looks like there might be a crack or something up top. Uh, you know, m most of the other joints are all fine. It's just, it's missing. Uh, like that, this one you can see. The loft, the loft fell down a couple of years ago, but this one's completely out. That's off a good, you know, six inches, maybe a foot. That almost looks like it was cut. Still bark on some of these pieces. So whenever I showed the outside, this this corner was a lot higher than the rest, and that might just be the way they built it. This side of the floor isn't as good as that other side. There's, you can see a big hole there and all the cracks going through the boards here, but 
you know, that's another brace that has fallen right in the middle there, your screen. It looks like maybe this pin might be coming out too, or, you know, this barn's seeing some age here. I'm going to try to walk over to that other side. Unfortunately, the joists are in this way. I can't just walk on one. So I do notice this, uh, like a big gum band that's going over the corner here. and wraps around the second pier, or tier. And... I don't know if this wall's going out. I never noticed it previously. You can kind of see the repair to the hack job that someone did. What I'd like to do is to finish cutting off the tenon over there and insert a whole new tenon. I need to work on this floor a little bit and get this so I can't see what's underneath. The whole downstairs is pretty good on its joinery. I, I never noticed any problems previously, but she walks across it like it's nothing. Come on, Molly. You can kind of peek down in there a little bit. Well, if you guys have any thoughts or questions on how I think, if you guys have any uh, thoughts on how I should do this, uh, I'd like to repair, you know, that far beam, this one, and this one this summer. Uh, someone's already repaired some of these, but their their hack jobs are not uh, anything decent. I need to, I would like to do it upright. At least enough to keep the roof from caving in. You know, you can see that the bottoms of the joists are all, the rafters are all opening up a little bit. So an interesting uh, thing about this barn is that all the vertical posts are all sawn, but all the horizontals are all hand-humed. So I don't know why they were done that way, but they were. I would also like to know why the just the front wall has its problems. The whole back is fine, um, except for one sill log, which has completely rotted out. If you look right there. It continues on and it's gone through here. That's rotted off. And continues back under the. Well, if you guys have any thoughts or questions, I'd like to hear from you guys. And uh, please be sure to check out my other videos. I've got, this is the only barn video I have, but I have some other woodworking related stuff. So please check out my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.